What's up everybody, it's Plastic Martyr. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating how to achieve this sexy fox eye summer glam bronzy look that I just did. And I am so excited to dive right in and show you guys how to do this. I'm gonna be using some new products as well as some of my old favorites. First thing I'm gonna do is pop on my anti-hater spray so you guys can't hate me. And let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is start off with primer, and I am so excited because I finally found the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which I have been trying to find forever, and it's all, everywhere has always been out of it, which is a good thing, I guess. It means it's a really good product, but I finally got my hands on some. So today, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Oh, yes. So I'm just gonna go in with like a little duo brush from MAC and kind of, I'm a big a fan of primer, so I use a lot of it. This primer is so nice. Now I know what all the hype is about. Wow. I love e.l.f. primers, but I haven't tried this one yet. Um, I used their other one, I forgot the name of it. It's in like a little pink bottle, it's so good. But this primer, wowie, I am obsessed already. All right, so now I also just wanna let you guys know, I did do my brows off camera and I used the Morphe Brow 8 palette and I used the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil and then I set my brows using the Anastasia Brow Gel, which is, what I normally do for my brows. Now that we have our primer on, let's move on to foundation. So for foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation because you guys know that's my favorite foundation at the moment. And I'm going to go in with shade Nude. And you know what, since I am a little tanner now, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with just a little drop of natural, which is a little bit of a warmer tone. And you can kind of see, I just used the back of my hand as a palette. And now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. I have this little crown for my beauty blender. Just cause I love it so much. But I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender, mix those two together. And bounce it on my face. Okay, so now that we have beat our face with our foundation, I'm going to go in with my concealer. And for concealer today, I'm going to use my favorite concealer at the moment, which is the Morphe Concealer, and I use shade C155. I think C1 means cool one, I don't, in MAC terms, they would usually use NW and NC, neutral warm, neutral cool. So I don't know how they do their numbering for Morphe concealers, but um, my number is C155. And I'm just gonna lightly bloat that on the skin without pressing too hard because I don't want to get creasing. I really love this Morphe concealer because A, the price point is amazing and you can't beat it. And B, it's so buildable and light that I can wear this 
just on a regular day, if I just want to like run out to the, well, I can't just run out anymore. Um, but in the good old days, if I wanted to just run out to the market or go to the gym, I would just put a little bit of this concealer on. Oh, I'm not done yet. And um, I was good to go. And for full glam, I can just kind of like add more and add where I want. And today we're going to do a little bit more full glam. So I'm going to add it, of course, right on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, right here on Cupid's bow, a little bit on the nasal labial folds, and a little bit on the chin. Okay, now I'm going to take my damp, my damp beauty sponge, or my beauty blender, this is the original beauty blender, and I'm going to kind of just start to buff this concealer in and I'm gonna do my under eyes last because I kind of want that to sit a little bit longer so I'm gonna blend out on my forehead down my nose and now I'm gonna start with my eyes but I'm going to start at the bottom and blend up and then into my lash line and then I also just kind of like to stipple that over my whole like lid and up to my brow bone too just as like almost like a little bit of an eye primer even though i'm gonna go in in a little bit and prime with a real eye primer okay so now i'm going to set my face and i'm going to try using the new Cotti airspun which I've been really wanting to try for a long time now. And um, I just I haven't tried it yet. And I finally found it. So let's set our face with some of this. I'm going to avoid my eye area because this does have talc in it, I think. Um, it does have talc. So I'm going to avoid my eye area with this. I'll just use this on my face and just kind of set oh my god this smells so good I smell like I smell like a Chanel store <laughs> it's very powdery I'm also going to now put some eye primer on my lids and I use the eyelid primer from Morphe and I'm just going to put that on my finger and excuse my disgusting nails right now. I know all of us are missing our claws. So I'm just going to pat that into my lid using my fingers in a very light kind of circular motion to create that blank sticky canvas for when I'm going to apply my eyeshadow. Actually, the sticky part is not true. I don't like having a sticky primer when I do my eyeshadows because it's a bitch to blend them out. So I do set my eyes with powder and today I'm gonna be setting it with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I am shade a fair light. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my damp beauty sponge and just kind of set that so that I can do my shadow in a minute. I can understand what all the hype is about with the Kati Airspun, but I can't beat the Fit Me Loose by Maybelline. I mean, this is what I use every day for my makeup and I just, I love it so much. But for today's video, I really wanted to try the Airspun. Um, so that's what we're doing and we're gonna see how it turns out. Okay, so now that we have set the face with powder, I'm going to warm everything up with uh, some bronzer and I'm going to use the Hoola by Benefit bronzer which I know in my last video I said I didn't love it 
again, it wasn't anything wrong with the product. The product is great. I just didn't like it for my skin tone. It threw very red. I take back what I said. I was using it wrong. <laughs> I just needed to use a better brush and apply it differently to different parts of my face. So now I love it and I'm obsessed with it. And I'm gonna go in with this brush by, I don't even know because it doesn't have a thing on it, but my friend Joey gave me this brush and he recently passed away. So I do love this brush and it makes me think of Joey every time I use it. So it is a good brush, but you can just use any fluffy brush and I just, Take a little bit of the, hi, a little bit of the product and I dust it off, tap it off because I don't like a ton of heavy bronzer and I just kind of lightly circle that into my skin and I just kind of warm up the areas of my face that I want to create that kind of dimension and this is how I really contour my face, is I just warm up those areas, up by the hairline, the cheekbones. My friend Joey was a very talented makeup artist, so hopefully he's smiling down upon me right now as I'm doing my bronzer with his brush. And then of course, don't forget under your chin. Also, a good little trick to remember is when you're applying your makeup and you're holding your tools, depending on where you hold your brushes, it's gonna change the amount of pressure that you have on that brush. So if you want a very light, feathery, airbrushed look, hold it down at the base of it, not near the, is that the base? Hold it at this part, not this part. <laughs> Kind of warm everything up. Okay. I love a good contoured hairline because I hate my hairline, but this is looking good. Okay. Keep in mind your makeup will always look like poop until you're finally done with everything. It only like really starts to look good when you've officially finished your makeup. So now I'm gonna do a blush brush from MAC Cosmetics, and I'm gonna take the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Um, it's the compact powder one, not the loose one, and this is in shade 320, and this is what I use for my contour. And I'm just gonna take this blush brush from MAC, this angled brush blush, blush brush, and I'm going to just really warm up and kind of add some dimension into the hollows of my cheek. Oh, I forgot to do this lid off. And blend this up and out. Also, bringing that into the hairline a little bit. Same on the other side. Really concentrating on blending it. So you have that airbrushed kind of sun-kissed, summery glow look. And that's what this look is gonna be about today. It's just really soft, beautiful, summer, sexy glam that's easy to do i realize i look insane right now this will all come together soon chisel that jaw hello okay so now that we are done with our contour um let's clean it up and i'm going to be using the kati airspun again to just clean up down here and then for my bake today i'm just going to use the maybelline fit me loose powder because i have heard you're not supposed to use the airspun near your eyes so i'm gonna follow that bit of advice closely because i take my eyes very seriously so now let's just kind of clean up really good. 
the powder. It smells amazing. I can't wait for my boyfriend to kiss me with this on. It's gonna smell so good to him. And for this, I am using the Beauty Sponge by Morphe because I am obsessed with this beauty sponge for like contouring and stuff because it has the flat little edge to it right here and it's really easy to just define your contour. Now while that's setting, I'm gonna contour my nose and just lightly, I'm gonna take the same Fit Me Maybelline contour color, get a nice little fluffy brush and dust that off just really work on contouring this, but light contouring, not heavy, crazy contour. We just want that snatched nose, as the kids say. So I'm just finishing up my contour on my nose, which is looking good. And I am gonna clean that up. So I also like to, while I'm doing the contour on my nose, I just take that same brush, and you guys saw this in my last video. I just kinda put that, I just bring my that contour color into my, right above my eye crease and I just kind of fan it up and out to create almost that like little bit of a fox eye effect and get that lift in. Because again, makeup is all about illusion. So you want to create the illusion that you have that lifted eye. And I just like to warm up that area before I do my eyeshadow. I just feel like it just adds that little extra oomph to just creating a seamless, flawless finish. Great, and up and out. Doesn't have to be really noticeable. It's just laying basically like a guideline down and just kind of warming everything up. Great. Now that that's done, let's um, set a little bake under our eyes so we can move into the eyes. And I'm going to take the Fit Me Maybelline Loose Powder again in shade Fair Light, number 10. And I'm gonna just set my under eyes with that. And I'm gonna use my damp beauty sponge from Morphe and kind of Clean up that contour that we just added. And then also add that bake. And the thing with baking is you, the reason we do that is it just kind of creates like a frame and a like a barrier and a boundary for your eyeshadow. So it's just easier to clean up. It catches fallout. It's a good little guideline. You get cleaner lines. I love it. And then afterwards, it just kind of brightens up your under eye when you dust it off and leaves you looking fresh and sexy. And I lightly just set that on top of the skin. And I'll you do a little harsher line where I kind of want to, where I don't want my eyeshadow to extend past. So now with the clean Morphe M441 brush, I have gone in with the silk cream from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And sorry, it is so messy, but I use this palette all the time. And silk cream is this color, which I have hit pan on. That just goes to show how much I love this palette. And I have already pretty much started blending it out into a more cat eye, almost fox eye kind of 
vibe where I'm bringing it out up past my brow a little bit and just really soft light blending motions just blending it out so you want that really seamless just almost sun-kissed looking glow on your eyes. Again, also over here in the inner corner, I'm just kind of connecting it with my nose contour and slightly blending that up into my brow, cleaning up any harsh lines. Same over here, blending that color out that I had already placed on there. And now with a more defined eyeshadow brush, this is the MAC, I think this is the 217 brush, but it's so worn out, I can't tell. Um, I am gonna go in with the color right below Silk Cream, which is Pooter. And just grab a little bit of that, and then dust it off, and kind of focus, just I'm stamping it in the outer corner of my eye, that outer V, I'm just kind of stamping that in there and slightly bringing it up into the crease, but not bringing it all the way in, just stopping halfway. And then with that brush, I'm just kind of lightly feathering that into the silk cream that I already laid down before. And again, working it up towards the tail of my brow to create that lifted effect. And same on the other side. The reason I'm not bringing it in all the way into the inner corners of my eye is I wanna leave that open and light just so it gives that very like youthful, open-eyed look. And I already have some contour in there, so I feel like if I add any more color in there, it's gonna just kinda of close off my eyes. And I wanna give the illusion that they are very wide and open. So right now with that M441 brush, I'm just going back in and just kind of feathering everything together lightly. Again, notice where I'm holding my brush is at the very end, so it's soft, feathery motions, not a lot of pressure. And I'm just working that all together. Beautiful. So for this look, I don't really want a lot. Let me see how it's translating in the I like it. So I want that very just like snatched looking bronzy kind of face. So I think I'm gonna leave the shadow kind of like that. Actually, that's a lie. I'm gonna just take one more. This is the MAC 221 brush and it's just a very small kind of definer brush, crease brush, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to take the shade next to Pooter, which is called Butter, this one. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of warmth to that outer corner. And I'm just going to lightly feather that into the outer corner, giving it just a little bit of dimension and a little bit more warmth. Because again, we're going for that sun-kissed kind of glam. shadows that we laid down out. Great. I am really liking where this is looking. All right, so now let's blend 
this part before we do the lid color. So I'm going to take a clean blending brush, if I have one. So we're gonna take the another clean Morphe M441 brush. I have a ton of these. And I kind of like to do this step just because it works for me. It's not the proper way to do it. It's not an eyeshadow. I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder, picking it up. Since this powder is translucent, I'm just kind of picking it up on this buffer brush and dusting it off. And then just kind of lightly feathering that. So now for the lid color, I'm going to go in with Orgasm from Miss Fame's Under My Skin Palette. First of all, this collection is insanely pretty. The packaging on this is incredible. And the colors are like, mm. I haven't used like a lot of these colorful ones yet because I don't do a lot of colorful makeup. But today I'm going to go in with this beautiful, it's hard to see, it's beautiful, but um, it's called Orgasm. It's got like... It's an apricot-y looking color with some like flecks of pink in it. And I just kind of want to add that to my lid. So I'm going to take this flat Morphe eyeshadow brush, which is not numbered. Spritz it with some Morphe setting spray. And take a little bit on my brush. Dust it off. And I'm going to just pat that into my lid. Oh, God, this is so pretty. Miss Fame's makeup is amazing. I know you all have seen her channel and her Instagram, but her cosmetic line, her lipsticks and her eyeshadows, oh, so good. Like I said, I haven't really played with a lot of them yet because I don't do a lot of colorful makeup, but maybe I will start to. So now with this color, I'm also gonna just kind of bring that from the inner corner of my eye up and out towards the outer corner. Not all the way though, because I don't want to erase the shadowing the shading that I did on the outer corner because that is going to give my eye some dimension. So we're just kind of focusing on, I like to start placing my lid color on the middle of my lid and either working left or right. So for today, I'm going from the inner corner. why we have our bake on. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna take just a small little angled brush. This is the MAC 203 brush, and I'm going to kinda just wet it a little bit and you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I'm, I like it just because it gives my eye a little bit more of that lift. And I'm gonna go in with this color. I think this is, okay, so this is Central Park and the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm gonna pick that up and just kind of create a little bit of a winged eye, but nothing too severe. And with this, I'm gonna start, normally you would follow your lash line, I'm gonna start just a little bit before and bring that up. Not super high. Now you can kind of see how that's created a little bit of a lift. 
And I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Okay, so now to finish off this kind of fox eye trend, which is hot right now, I'm gonna take that same shadow central part, I think it was called, from the Jack Little palette, and now I've got a just a regular thin liner pencil brush, and this is by Morphe, and I'm just going to pull out that skin a little bit and extend the inner corner of my eye out. So it creates that kind of slanted, foxy effect. And same on this side. You have to be careful when you're doing this look though because if you have close set eyes like I do, doing that inner corner thing can kind of bring your eyes closer together and it's not a good look. So be very careful. Now I'm just taking that same brush and kind of just drawing right at the lash line, kind of connecting it with that outer wing that I did with that same shade and just very lightly connecting the two barely even noticing it but i am going to be putting lashes on so i do want that area to have a little bit of darkness to it so that there's no real disconnect Take this flat MAC 212 brush and I'm gonna dip it into Mocha in the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is this yummy kind of brown. <laughs> and I'm just gonna stamp that right at my lash line, just really stamping and kind of lightly blending it out and up, but not a lot. Just really keeping it at my lash line. Okay, loves that. Now let's move on to lashes, which I'm going to do off camera, but I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Wispies. They are really cute. So I will be right back. Ah, wow, that was fun. I had a bit of a disaster with the mascara, but I fixed it and my lashes are on. For mascara, I used my go-to, which is by Maybelline. It's the Falsies Lash Lift Waterproof Mascara. And again, for lashes, I used Ardell Demi Wispies and I also, so I put on my lashes and I also took the outer corner of the lash and put it just a slight hair above my lash line just so it created, again, a lifted winged effect and kind of blended into that wing liner that we placed on our lid before. And then underneath that, I just took that same MAC 212 brush that I used to stamp on um, the shadow, whatever it was that I did, mocha. And I dipped it in my Maybelline Lasting Drama Liquid, uh, or not liquid, my cream liner. And I just kind of got that on my brush and just under my lash line, just kind of blended that in so there's no disconnect from the lashes to the lash line. It's all looking very smoky and pretty. 
All right, so let's just pop a little color on underneath the lash line. Not a lot because we want the focus to be up here. Um, I'm gonna take the MAC 228 brush, which is, well, I'll pop it up here. And I'm gonna go back in with Mocha. Let me make sure I know what Mocha is. Yes, okay. And burr, 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 get a little on there, dust that off. And right at the lash line, very softly blending that into my lower lash line. And now this is the MAC brush. <laughs> I don't know the number, it's worn off. It's a very old brush. And I'm gonna take the first color we went in with, which was, you'd think I'd remember the names by now, Silk Cream. And I'm gonna take that and just lightly blend out that shadow that I just did. And then kind of bringing that up into that wing that we created. Clean little blending brush and just kind of clean up under there. Beautiful. All right, so let's do blush. For blush today, I'm gonna go in with MAC Warm Soul Mineralize Blush. And I love this blush. I'm gonna do, where is my soft little blush brush. And I'm just gonna really just softly almost feather this into my cheeks because I'm not a huge fan of harsh blush. So I find the apples, just kind of stipple that on and then work it in circular motions up into my hairline. And now to add just a little bit more love to my cheeks, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Baked Blush in shade 05 Luminoso. And this is a little bit more orangey and has a little bit more of like a sun, sun-kissed look to it. So I'm just gonna also mix that in with my other blush, bring it up, add some color and warmth. Why the hell not? Okay, now for cheeks and highlighter, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. I love this stuff. I just put a little drop on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take a wet beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, kind of mix that around and just add that glow to the top of my cheek, nose. Lips everywhere, I love it. And now for highlighter, I'm going to try the Physician's Formula Better Highlighter. And this is iridescent. This has a little bit of a pinky or purpley tone, so I kind of scared about trying this today because it doesn't really go with my vibe, but I did want to try it. So let's dust some of that off. Oh, hello. That is very purple. Okay, so we're going to rock over here on that one. This is a really pretty highlighter, just not for today's look. So I'm gonna go and get my Milani Stellar Lights palette and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my Milani Stellar Lights palette, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a warmer tone, this kind of gold, and try to fix that highlighter. And I'm gonna bring that up. Oof, yes, mama. 
up into my eyes. I like to just add a little bit of my highlighter to just right under my brow bone. A little dust on the nose, a little exclamation mark. I love me some highlighter. Then I'm gonna just kinda go back in and press what I just did back into my skin, melting everything together. seamless look. Now let's throw on some lips. And for lips, I'm gonna just do my normal, everyday nude lip. I'm gonna use Spiffy from Morphe. And then add a touch of Ginger from Morphe, right in the center. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit of the Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline. And this is in shade Poet. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Step, setting spray, and I'm gonna be using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I don't wanna get my hair completely messy, so. Okay. I feel like if I do this any harder, I'm gonna be like, and just fly away. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm gonna just kind of clean up any spots. All right, well, that concludes this look. I'm gonna go throw on an outfit and I will be right back. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the sexy fox eye look. If you guys decide to recreate this look for Instagram, don't forget to tag me in your photo so I can see your beautiful work and share it in my stories. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, a comment, and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for future videos. I love you guys so much and stay beautiful.